INSAS, an abbreviation of Indian Small Arms System, is a family of infantry arms consisting of an assault rifle and a light machine gun, LMG. It is manufactured by the Ordnance Factories Board at Ordnance Factory Attire at Kairipalli, Small Arms Factory Kanpur and Ishapur Arsenal. The INSAS assault rifle is the standard infantry weapon of the Indian Armed Forces. The rifle will be replaced with AK-203 and the frontline units now been equipped with SIG-716. The light machine gun version is being replaced by the IWI Negev. Since the late 1950s, the Indian Armed Forces had been equipped with a locally produced copy of the L1A1 self-loading rifles. In mid-1980s, the decision was taken to develop a 5.56mm caliber rifle to replace other obsolete rifles. Trials on various prototypes based on the AKM were carried out by the Armament Research and Development Establishment, ARDE, in Pune. On the completion of the trial, the Indian Small Arms System, INSAS, was adopted in 1990. However, to phase out the still in use bolt action Lee infield rifles as quickly as possible, India had to acquire 100,000 7.62 39 mm AKM type rifles from Russia, Hungary, Romania, and Israel in 1990 Originally, three variants were planned in the INSAS system a rifle, a carbine, and a squad automatic weapon, SAW, or light machine gun, LMG. In 1997, the rifle and the LMG went into mass production. In 1998, the first INSAS rifles were displayed at the Republic Day Parade. The introduction of the rifle was delayed due to the lack of 5.56 times 45 mm ammunition. Large quantities of the same were bought from Israel military industries. The first combat use of the rifle was during the Kargil War in 1999. The Indian Army is going to be armed partially with the INSAS IC assault rifle. The INSAS is primarily based on the AKM but incorporates features from other rifles. It has a chrome plated bore. The barrel has a six groove rifling. The basic gas operated long stroke piston and the rotating bolt are similar to the AKM slash AK 47. It has a manual gas regulator, similar to that of FNFAL, and a gas cutoff for launching grenades. The charging handle is on the left instead of on the bolt carrier, similar in operation to the HK 33. There is a change lever on the left side of the receiver above the pistol grip. It can fire a three round burst or in semi automatic mode. The cyclic rate averages at 650 rpm. The transparent plastic magazine was adapted from the Stair August. The rear sight lies on one end of the breech cover and is calibrated to 400 meters. The furniture is either made of wood or polymer. The polymer butt and fur end assemblies differ from the AKM and are more similar to that of IMI Galil. Some variants have a folding butt. A bayonet can also be attached to it. The guns take 20 or 30-round polymer magazines. The 30-round magazine is made for the LMG version, but can be also used in the rifle. The flash suppressor also accepts NATO specification rifle grenades. During the 1999 Cargill War, the rifles were used in the high altitudes of the Himalayas. There were complaints of jamming, the magazine cracking due to the cold and the rifle going into automatic mode when it was set for three-round bursts. There was also a problem of oil being sprayed into the eye of the operator. Some injuries during firing practice were also reported. In 2001, the 1B1 variant was introduced to solve problems regarding the rifle's reliability back in the Cargill War, but it opened up other problems such as broken magazines. Similar complaints were also received from the Nepalese army. In August 2005, after 43 soldiers were killed in a clash with Maoists, a Nepalese army spokesman called the rifle substandard and their counterinsurgency operation would have been more efficient with better weapons. The Indian embassy released a statement that rejected the claim and attributed it to improper use. It also offered training for the rifle's correct use. On August 8, 2011, Palan Raju, then Minister of State for Defense, replying to a question in the Lok Sabha said that all the reported problems had been rectified. Soon afterwards, in a press release, the Ministry of Defense reported the number and details of the injuries that had happened during firing practice since 2009. The statement also acknowledged the problem of oil sprays reported in 2003 and said that the problem had been completely fixed. The report attributed the injuries to improper usage in the rifle's material. In November 2014, the CRPF requested to drop the INSAS as their standard rifle due to problems with reliability. 
The Director General of CRPF Dilip Trivedi said that the INS is changed more frequently compared to the AK-47 in the X-95. In December 2014, a parliamentary committee presented its report after investigating why a high-quality assault rifle was not being produced. In 2015, a public interest litigation, PIL, was filed in the Delhi High Court by a retired lieutenant colonel. He claimed that the lack of a modern rifle was causing soldiers to lose their lives. In April 2015, the court asked the Ministry of Defense to file its response. The ministry defended the use of the rifle, saying that casualties cannot be blamed on the weapon as it was inducted after thorough trials and had undergone three major upgrades since. They also pointed out the rifle had been not blamed by the Court of Enquirers which had investigated the Naxalite operations. In November 2015, the court dismissed the petition stating that there was not enough evidence to show any defects in the INSAs. It also noted the government was in the process of acquiring new rifles. In April 2015, the Indian government replaced some INSAs rifles of the CRPF with AK 47S. In early 2017, it was announced that INSAs rifles were to be retired and replaced by rifles capable of firing 7.62 times 51mm NATO cartridges. In March 2019, media reported that Indian military were set to replace the INSAs with Russia-designed AK-203 assault rifles, manufactured in India under a joint venture. It is a gas-operated assault rifle. It can be fired in single-round or three-round burst mode. A telescopic sight or a passive night sight can be mounted on it. It can take NATO standard 5.56x45 mm SS-109 and M193 ammunition. It comes with a bayonet. It has a mount point for the ARD at 40 mm under barrel granite launcher, along with a gas block for launching grenades and granite iron sights. The flash suppressor has a blank firing adapter. It also has a foldable bud version. An INSA's assault rifle with black furniture, incorporating full auto mode, was introduced later. The automatic assault rifle has the same range of 400 m as the semi automatic standard INSA's rifle. The LMG Light machine gun differs from the standard rifle in possessing a longer range of 700 m, as compared to 400 m range of INSA standard in assault rifles. It has a longer and heavier barrel with revised rifling and a bipod. The LMG version uses 30 round magazines and can also accept the 20 round INSA's AR magazine. This model fires in semi and full auto. It also has a foldable butt version. The LMG will be replaced with the IWI Nagathing 7. The Excalibur, with a range of 400 m, can be used for battlefield engagements as well as for close combat. It is lighter and shorter as compared to the automatic INSAS assault rifle. In July 2015, it was reported that the INSAS may be replaced by the modified INSAS rifle, NIR, which is based on the Excalibur variant. The decision was taken by General Dalbur Singh, who wanted an indigenous rifle. The prototype had two stoppages after firing 24,000 rounds which was very close to the Army's specification of one stoppage. It was also reported that another prototype of Excalibur, AR-2, was being prepared which would fire 7.62 times 39mm rounds of the AK-47. The prototype incorporates a direct gas tapping angle to reduce the recoil. The rifle would have automatic and single-shot modes. The three-round burst mode of the INSAS has been dropped. The rifle would have a folding butt and a standard picket tinny rail, by September 2015, it had passed the water and mud tests, which four of the foreign rifles in the tender competition had failed. It was also reported 200 rifles were being manufactured and the prototype would undergo formal trials in late 2015. The Kalantak Micro Assault Rifle, with a range of 300 in, is for close combat and personnel defense weapon rolls. The Amog Carbine, with a range of 200 in, is specially designed for close quarter battle rolls. India, assault rifle and LMG variants have been adopted. Indian Armed Forces, to be replaced by 750,000 AK-203 rifles and 144,400 SIG-716 Patrol G2 rifles as per the latest contract. INSA's LMG is due to be replaced by the IWI Nejaf NG-7 as per latest contract for 16,479 NG-7S. Indian Paramilitary Forces Central Armed Police Forces State Police Services Bhutan, used by the Royal Bhutan Army Nepal, the Nepalese Army had received about 26,000 rifles since 2001, 
supplied at a 70% subsidy by India. As of July 20, 2020, the Nepali Army transferred 600 INSAS rifles to the Nepali Armed Police Force. Oman, in 2010, the Royal Army of Oman started using the INSAS rifles sent to them as per a defense agreement signed in 2003 between India and Oman. Swaziland, 